Today's video is going to be a quick design tutorial where I show you how to turn this text into this using the Cricut Slice tool. I briefly touched on this topic in a previous video, but this video is going to go more into detail about what you can do with this tool so that you can use it more effectively. To get started, open up a new project in the Cricut Design Space and type in your text. For this project, I'll be using the font Impact. Now enlarge the text and unlock the size proportions so we can stretch it out horizontally and vertically. Now I'm going to show you guys how to find, save, and upload images from Google to your Cricut Design Space and I'm not going to do this for every image, just for the very first one. If you're going to be printing this project, then you do want to search for larger images with a high enough resolution that it'll give you a nice quality print, like 300 dots per inch. But I'm not going to get too much into that now. Once you find the image you want to use, save it to your computer and upload it to the Cricut Design Space. Now that the image is in our project, we're going to select the text that we're going to be working with and ungroup the letters. Then move these letters aside for now so that we can work with one letter at a time. Then place your letter on top of the image that you're going to be slicing and change the line type from cut to foil bold. This changes your letter to an outline making it easier to view where exactly you want to slice your image. Let's zoom in so we can get a closer look. Now that the letter is in place, we can select the image and the letter together and click the Slice tool. Now that we've sliced the image, we can get rid of the letter outline and whatever is left over of the image that we're not going to be using. And there you go, a perfectly sliced letter M. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process for the rest of the letters. I've already uploaded the images that I want to use to the Cricut Design Space. So I'm just going to insert them now and slice the letters. When you're doing this, always make sure that the letters you're working with are on top or in front of the images and not behind the images. Sometimes this happens, and to fix that, simply highlight the letters or words that you're working with and go up here to Arrange and click on Bring to Front. And from a previous video where I used this technique, I had a few people ask me why I didn't just slice all the letters at once. And the reason for that is that the, uh, that the slice tool doesn't let you do that. I'm going to show you on here if I try to highlight more than one picture 
and more than one letter at a time to slice, the slice tool will gray out and it just won't allow you to do that. That's why you have to do it one at a time. Even when I'm working with just this one image but I want to slice two letters at a time, it won't let me do it until I get rid of one of those letters. And here is a before and after for you guys to see again. And now that we're finished with this project, there's a lot that you can do with it. You can reattach the letters if you want them to print out as one image, but that really limits you as far as how big you can print out the name. This is about as big as it'll get um, if the letters are attached. So if you want to print them out larger, keep them unattached. That way you can make the letters bigger but you still have to stay within the Cricut Design Space print and cut size limit, which is nine and a quarter by six and three quarters for each letter, which is still a pretty decent size name. It really just depends on where you wanna go from here. You can print it out on cardstock and use it as a birthday banner, or frame it and put it up on your wall. You can even make a custom t-shirt using this design. And if you want to learn how to do that, I do have a video that I'm going to leave up in the right hand corner where I show you how to use your home printer, the Cricut Design Space, and transfer paper to print and press your own custom t-shirts. And in future videos, I'll be going over how to sublimate mugs, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments and like and subscribe for future videos.